This is one of the most frequently used loops in C programming. For loop is also an entry control loop as the test condition is checked before entering the loop body. It is executed as follows. Number 1. It first initializes the loop counter and only once. Number 2. Then it checks the conditional expression. Number 3. If it is true, it executes the for loop body. Number 4. Then it increments or decrements the loop counter and again follows from step 2. And number 5. When the conditional expression becomes false, it exits the loop. Its syntax is In for loop, we have exactly two semicolons. One after initialization and second after the condition. In this loop, we can have more than one initialization or increment or decrement section separated using comma operator. But it can have only one condition. As with the while, the default scope of for is the immediately next statement after it. That means if there is only one statement in the body of the for loop, then you can drop the pair of braces. The operation of the for loop is illustrated in the following figure. Let's write the same program to print first 10 natural numbers using for loop. Create a new file in code blocks and save it as s4-03.c. Write hash include open close angular brackets stdio.h int min open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon declare an integer variable int x semicolon write the for loop for open close parenthesis x equals to 1 semicolon x less than or equals to 10 semicolon x plus plus open close curly brace printf open close parenthesis semicolon put in double quotes write person d backslash n comma x as you can see in the program the three steps initialization testing and incrementation have been incorporated in the for statement when the for statement is executed for the first time the value of x is set to an initial value 1 now the condition x less than or equals to 10 is tested since x is 1 the condition is satisfied and the body of the loop is executed for the first time this causes the value of x that is 1 to be printed on the console and x to be incremented by 1 Again, the test is performed to check if the new value of x is still less than or equal to 10. Since x is 2, the condition evaluates to true. So, it enters the loop body, prints the current value of x that is 2 on the console and increments x. This process repeats till x does not exit the final value 10. When x becomes 11, program control exits the loop and is transferred to the statement if any immediately after the body of 4. In this example, x is the loop control variable, which is changed and checked each time the loop repeats. Press F9 to check the output. Alright, 1 to 10 is printed out on the console. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.